On my left, we have Ned Giovanni, Group MD. Hello, hello, can we have one meeting, those people who are busy? Um, on my left is Ned Giovanni, Group MD of Go Places Digital. Uh, we have uh, Brian Rido, founder of Pizza and Wine Festival. We have Lucas Kimeundile, co-founder of Pizza and Wine Festival. And then we have the man of the moment, Omalei. Yeah. Welcome to Kenya. Thank you very much. Yes, so um, I'll start with uh, Brian who will tell us something and then go to Lucas, Nev, and then we'll finish with Omale and then we'll have some few questions from the media. Brian. Hello guys. Um, I'm happy to be here. Um, it's an amazing moment for Kenya. And uh, we are hosting one of the biggest artists, and uh, we are indeed proud. And we are looking forward to having uh, Omale this weekend. And by the way, guys, um, Omale is going to be performing on Sunday, Sunday the thirty-first, and tomorrow is going to be a Kenyan lineup. So, looking forward to the best pizza and wine festival, first edition. Welcome. Hi, guys. Uh, thank you for being here, first of all. We really appreciate your support. For the guys who have been with us from the start, we appreciate that. We have the man of the moment right here. Just make sure on Saturday, on Sunday, turn up. Thank you. Hi guys, I'm uh, Nev Jiwani, the founder of the Go Places magazine, entertainment, restaurants, travel, music, food, uh, etc. I'm so humbled to be proud and proud to be associated with our local artists. Uh, we're here to support our art, culture, food, and music is so important. And uh, please, please come and support us because we need your support to ensure that everybody is present and we share this moment after the COVID. Uh, we truly understand the uh, concept of uh, the situation, but at the same time, please maintain your standard of health hygiene and social distancing, but also support our, our artists as much as possible. Right? Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, um, <coughs> so, my name is Omale. I don't know if I was supposed to say that, but I guess you guys already know. <laughs> so, my name is Omale, and um, I'm an artist. I'm a musician. Um, this is my first time in Kenya. And, um, I've always wanted to come to Kenya, but because of the COVID and everything, the first time I missed it. But this time I'm here. And, man, the love so far has been amazing. And, yeah, I'm happy to be here. Man. Thank you, guys. So next, you're going to have questions, and uh, it's going to be by order. So you you raise your hand. Say where you're coming from, your media house, your question. Okay, so Malay, presenter Ali here. We wanted to know why Kenya? Why are so many West African artists coming to Kenya? What's so special about Kenya? Uh, I really can't answer that question for sure, but I know that I want to come to Kenya because um, I, I get a lot of love, there's so much love coming from Kenya. I mean, I have a lot of fans in Kenya that want to see. Definitely, I want to connect with my fans. Uh, for me, it's not just about um, it's not just about the money or the publicity, whatever. I want to connect with my fans, and I know I have so many fans in Kenya, so I'll do whatever to see my fans. And the second question: We have our biggest artist in the crowd, who is actually the biggest artist in Kenya. Are you looking forward to working with him now that you're in play? I can't, I can't guarantee that, like 100%. But I'm in Kenya because there's definitely a relationship between Kenya and Nigeria. And that's what we're trying to build. So um, 
definitely for me and the vibe is right, I'll definitely do something wrong. Uh, my third question. Recently we saw the video posting about releasing his album to fans. Do you have any album plans? Sorry? Uh, this kid was announced that he's soon going to release his album. I wanted to know if you have any album plans. Yeah, I have an album coming up very soon. Um, it's almost 90% done. You're definitely going to know when, when I release it. And then another question. What do you think about Kenyan girls? Kenyan girl? <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> what do you think about um, I have a Kenyan girlfriend. So, you know. <laughs> what I'm seeing before everybody. I love, I mean, the love from Kenya is amazing. And, you know. And my last question is, uh, which Kenyan artist do you love? Which one do you listen to the most? Uh, Kenyan artist that I listen to. I listen to Sati Soul a lot, but I'll take Sati Soul. I'll take Sati Soul. And Bus. next one. <laughs> next one. Hi, I'm Ole. I'm Hardy from East Stephen from the Spanish Asian Mix. Uh, my question is that what made you decide to pursue a career in entertainment at such a young age? I, st I mean, I have serious love for music. It was like that's the only thing that I have. So I had to pursue it. And um, it just feels right. It feels like that's what I should do. So no, no second thought. There was no double guessing. Okay, and uh, what was the best concert that you have seen? That you have been I, feel, I feel like Kenya is going to be the best. I've not seen it yet. Looking forward to that. <laughs> and um, I just want to know what are the rituals or things that you do before you go to perform? Like as artists, we all get very nervous, but we do something to go on stage. For me, I just. I mean, I don't get nervous. I, 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 I won't lie. I, 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 there's this adrenaline that I want to see what's up. But um, I'm, I'm just okay. My ritual is, is normal. Just go on stage and do my thing. Thank you so much. Omale, oh, this is uh, just what you know from Sabasi TV. Okay. So, like, uh, how can you relate to the Kenyan music industry and uh, Nigerian music industry? Uh, Honestly, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of country and country thing and you know music politics, country and country. But um, I know, I know a lot of, I know South Soul for sure. I know South Soul for sure, and um, there is there there is a similarity with between Nigeria and Kenya, and there is some sort of connection with the music, and I feel like. It, at the end, we're all making African music. We're all making music for Africa, and that's the most important thing. And uh, when you're releasing your projects, do you have like a target market? Because uh, when you see in Kenya, the songs are mostly like pushed for I'm, I'm not the best guy to ask that question. Anything about marketing, I'm not into it. I just make music and then I put it out straight up. Hi, <laughs> sorry. My name is Sean from Pulse Nightmare. Um, so you used to be a producer before you became an economic artist. So I have two questions. The first question is, are there any notable names that you had worked with before you became a personality and an economic artist? And my second question is, have you been involved in any of the production on your EPs and your upcoming album? Okay, yes. Um, I used to be a music record producer before I started singing myself. And uh, I didn't work with any big names. I know that's the question, right? Yeah. I didn't work with any big names. It was just me and my circle making music because we loved it for a long time. And then, um, the second question is... The second question is, have you been involved in producing any of the songs? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, I produced uh, about three songs in my first EP. I produced like two songs in my second. And I, I'm definitely producing a few. Wow. Okay, do you have a timeline for this album that you said is almost ready? I don't. You don't? Okay. Next person. Okay, we are from the Wabit Show. First of all, welcome to Kenya. Part of the reception when coming to Kenya. The first reception. And another question. Um, most musicians from West Africa, they, at a very young age, they, they get to have 
international recognition, but in Kenya, the best musician has been in the, the industry for maybe 10 years, but not yet. What's the main difference? Can you come again with the second question, please? Okay, in Kenya, a uh, musician can work for maybe 10 years, but or more than 10 years, but not yet receive the international recognition. But from West Africa and other countries, Together, they receive uh, international recognition. What do you do differently from there? Like I said, I'm one of the best guys to ask about marketing and stuff. So. <coughs> Can I get one? Uh, I'm not the best guy to ask about marketing, but for me, all I do is make my music and put it out. Label and all that deal with, deals with like the question you just asked. But I know for sure that good music sells itself. As long as it's good, um, People are definitely gonna buy it. People are definitely gonna buy it if it's good. I mean, that's my best answer. Hi, Omale. Oh. My name is Mwani Rongo from Palestine, Kenya. I want to ask if you've seen the Understand Challenge. Send it. Have you seen it? Absolutely. You would like you to do it for us? <laughs> yes. I mean, that's why I'm here, right? I came yeah. to Kenya to play with everybody, like play my songs, so definitely you see me on stage. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Any other person? Hi, Omale. My name is Kida. I work for SPMR, first welcome to Kenya. Thank you. Uh, you among the legend and selected for the YouTube Black Voices Music Class uh, 2022. Maybe you can share with us the experience. And then second question is that, uh, we saw it all on your follow the country, and so many times you have spotted with uh, the national Maybe you can confirm to us, are you dating to Nasha? I mean, you have a music uh, uh, Oh, can I get water, please? <laughs> <laughs> um, first, I am single. I said I had a Kenyan girlfriend, but I'm single. And, um, <laughs> and uh, I never had a girlfriend, so I don't want to talk about the, the rumors. The rumors on Instagram, right? That's what you're talking about, the videos and stuff on Instagram. Yeah, so I never had a girlfriend. And um, what was the first question again? The first question was, uh, you are among the few Nigerians selected for the uh, YouTube Black Voices class of 2022. Maybe you can share with us the experience. I mean, um, it was a, it was a big, it was a big thing for me to be part of um, the YouTube YouTube Black Voices, and um, it's growth. It's actually putting Africa, like I said earlier, we all selling African music, African culture, and. Um, that is just me representing Africa, and uh, you know, so it's a big deal, not just for me, for everybody, Kenya, Nigeria, Africa as a well. whole. And um, yeah, does that answer the questions? <laughs> um, Malin, this is Leshal from El Media. I was asking, uh, there was a time that you posted your girlfriend. The other day, they said, they said you broke up with her the moment you posted her. Is that true? That's not true. I said earlier that I never had a girlfriend. <laughs> Those were rumors. I mean, I don't want to talk about this, but you guys are definitely choking me with it. But those were rumors, and um, I think it, it got handled the way it got handled. Yeah. My, my second question. Uh, how, uh, how do you expect people to receive you on when you are performing? Any way they feel like. Uh, I am human, like everybody else. So, um, one thing so much that I've worked on is to make sure people don't see me as, as an item or as a tool. I'm a human just like you. So, love me the way you feel like, just the same way I feel like loving you. So, any way you guys feel like treating me on stage, it's, it's totally up to you. Okay, so um, that brings us to the end of our press conference. So, I would like to give an opportunity to a photographer to take a photo of the four of them behind these banners. The rest of you just kindly relax. Sawa sawa. And uh, we would like to thank